Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Glad you're joining us today. If you're a return viewer, thank you very much. And if you are new, welcome to the channel where we do things that are just kind of sort of tactical. I like to shoot. I, al I almost don't care what it is. I just like to shoot. Uh, guns, archery, which that should, that'll be coming up soon. Archery season's coming up in a month and a half or so. And I've got a, got an elk that just needs an arrow through its chest so I can eat it. And so without any further, um, today I want to start with a short mini series of how to reload. This is not going to cover every aspect of reloading and everything we do here is for informational purposes. You need to do a little bit more research. I'm going to show you what I do. That doesn't mean that's what you're going to do. Everybody does things a little bit different. Um, I learned by just reading up on what everybody does, what the individual reloading component companies suggest. And from there, we'll go ahead and get started. So, you've been shooting a lot of ammo, like that. This is a 6.5 Grendel, um, 123 gram projectile. You may not be shooting that, you may be shooting a 308. It's a little bit bigger. Um, regardless, all these steps are pretty much going to be the same. And so I start with a loaded component, or a loaded cartridge rather. I shoot it. That's now out of the picture, and all I'm left with is some dirty brass sitting out on the ground. So I decide to pick it up, I'm gonna reload. I wanna make my own cartridges, shoot my own bullets that I loaded and that I trust. And so from there, we've got a few things that we've gotta do. Um, part of the problem now is this is dirty and it needs to be clean. The inside of your chamber on your rifle is a piece of precision. It's been precisioned out, uh, precision uh, measured to fit a certain parameter, which is barely bigger than this. And this needs to fit without flaw. And it also needs to be clean because the components of your dies, which we'll go into in a second, are very precise as well. And so it needs to fit in there well. And so you need to clean this. This one's fairly clean. It was a lot dirtier when I started. Oh, I thought I had a dirty one here. It's a whole lot dirtier. I don't know if you can tell the difference in those two, but there is some difference. And so I wipe this one down so I can show you guys something here, but to clean it, we need to clean it first. All right, we're gonna get all the soot from the gunpowder and stuff off there. I use a tumbler, which is here, and I put inside of it corn cob media. This is crushed up corn cob. Um, it's dyed green, I don't know why, but it's got some, uh, some chemical or something on it that helps clean it up. It works really well. And part of that, and I'll see if I can show you this. So one of them's been cleaned by media, one hasn't. It's kind of hard to tell. It is kind of weird lighting in here right now, but I've got a whole bunch of them up here that are super shiny right now. All right. Um, this one's been wiped down by hand really, really good with a rag. I've already reloaded this once, and so we got to clean this. So I put a couple hundred cases or whatever you've got into your, into your tumbler. And this is what this looks like. It, it, it works on oscillation. It oscillates just off center, so it shakes really good. Um, it's a little loud, it's not that bad. You don't need hearing protection or anything like that. So I'll put a bunch of cases in here, fill it up with corn cob media, shake it, make sure it gets done inside the cases, fill up a little bit more, turn it on. I do about two to three hours. Let me put this down out of the way now. I do about two to three hours. I come out and then they're super shiny after that. So there we go, we clean the case and now it's ready for the other problem. When you shoot this inside of a rifle, it tends to expand and conform to the, the chamber of the rifle. And so it expands this. Also when you shoot the bullet out, this is a 264 caliber bullet and a 6.5 millimeter. And part of the problem is, is when you do that, this is going to expand. And so right now, I am at 267. That's a very consistent reading there too, 267. So the bullet won't fit inside of here. And so part of sizing this back down will be to resize this case and resize the neck so a bullet will fit in here and the case will be strong enough to hold that bullet in place before you fire. All right, and so the last kind of 
step I'm going to go over in this video to keep it short and to give you bite-sized pieces of that is I'm going to zoom in here on my reloading press. So right here I've got my reloading press. There's a lot of different kinds of presses. This is a Lee Precision Press. Um, that's their name. I know there's some people out there, if you reload, you just said Precision and Lee in the same sentence. Yeah, I did. It's okay. This is a decent press. It's not too bad. As you can see, it actuates on a cam, drives the piston up. And so what this is going to do, it's got a shell holder here, which you'll also need a shell holder appropriate for the cartridge that you're firing and slash reloading. And so you've got a shell holder here. You're going to, it's going to hold the shell and this die is what it's called. It's going to shrink the case down to SAMI, S-A-A-M-I specs. And that is like the industry standard. So it's going to shrink that down and you'll see this large protrusion here. It's kind of thin. On the bottom, it's got a pin that sticks out. So anyways, it's going to pinch, push out that primer and leave you an empty case with no primer. And the primer is what ignites the bullet. This is a carbide case. So you need to lube it. Otherwise, it can get stuck. Um, right now, I'm using Case Slick from RCBS. Oh, so. But this one, I'm actually going to put a tiny bit too much. But I'm going to hold it at an angle and a distance. And it's a bit of an aerosol. All right. Um, it feels like, or it shoots like an aerosol, but it's a pump. I then put that in the case holder. I drive the ram up into the sizing die until it stops. You'll feel that difference and you pull it out. It's literally that simple. I have now resized this and it is ready to go for reloading. All right. All right, like I said, this is ready to go for reloading. It is now down to the appropriate size. And you're looking at the screen right now thinking it looks the same. Yeah, it does, and it's okay. Um, what I did on this, I had a little bump in the, sh in the uh, neck here, and so I don't have that anymore. And I'm gonna measure this just to kind of give you an idea. So I'm at 0.26, and the bullets are at 0.264. So now the bullet, when it gets seated into here, we'll do that in another video, it's gonna hold that tension, okay? And so we've got a few more steps after this, but that gives you the initial, hey, this is how you prep your cases. And instead of moving the camera, I'm going to squat. And so this is how you prep your cases. You clean it. Well, first of all, you shoot it. You get your cases. Then you need to clean it. All right. And there's a lot of different ways. There's steel pin. Um, and that's, that stuff's really shiny and it cleans inside the primer pocket. because you, So you can poke the primers out before that. A whole lot of different steps. But I digress. I got my brass already fired the round out of it. I'm going to clean it. I'm going to resize it to specifications and I'm going to punch out that primer. And that's your first major step. That's a couple steps, but that's your first big one. And so all I used was just to kind of recap, um, something to clean it, a tumbler of some sort with some media. I used the corn cob. I needed a press and I needed dies. All right, and you buy it according to your caliber, the 6.5 Grindle dies. Um, the front one I already showed you, this uh, resizes and, and deprimes it. The back one is for bullet seating, which we'll get into later, because now on the next videos coming up, um, we will prime and throw powder, and then we'll talk about probably the third video, or maybe I'll just do it in two videos, but prime, powder, and putting your bullet in. And with that, I'll leave you guys. Stay tactical.